Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And as you can see, we have a friend to the channel, Dennis Roxworthy. So right off the bat, you're thinking we've got a great Ford, but not today. Dennis, what did you bring today? I brought a 1952 Rambler Country Club to the heart top. The Nash. The Nash. The Nash Rambler. So let's take a look at this one. <laughs> you're going to like this. So first of all, there is a lot going on on this front end. And even though you might not think it, We'll spell it out for you. So, Dennis, what did they used to call this vehicle? Tom McCahill wrote for Mechanics Illustrated. He was test drove cars back in the day. He called it cute as a cupcake. Cute as a cupcake. So, it got that nickname from the get-go. So, let's take a look at the Nash. Number one, massive badge on the hood. And check out this lady. And you can see that here. And I'll let you take this in for a moment because there's more going on. So this woman appears to be looking up and then you can see the arms are airplane jet wings. How interesting and different is that? That takes a moment to take all that in. Now, if that wasn't enough and we go down a little farther, notice this here. Dennis, that was 52 only? 52 only, Lou. They did it to get more air into the radiator. Okay. And on top of that, we've got these little, I call them eyebrows, over the headlights. Yeah, that's just an accessory. Mm-hmm. You can see the chrome that wraps around and this bumper. Now, tell me about this optional bumper piece I'm featuring. What okay. is that? Okay, that's an optional bumper guard to protect the front end. And they, they were called cattle guards back in the day but it's a Nash exclusive. So big Nash, and, and notice, and I'll show you from this angle, there was bumper guards to begin with, and then they bolt those over the top, right to there, and make it this cattle guard. Now as we step to the side, come on along with me, Dennis. How long you had this one? About 10 years, Lou. Why this one out of all the cars well, in the world? I always thought the Rambler was cute. My brother had one new, so it was a throwback when I was little. And I found this car in a magazine in Dubuque, Iowa, and the guy had just restored it. It was a rust-free frame-off. Well, it's not a frame-off, it's a unibody car. The Rambler Country Club, and how do the wheels come off if they become flat? What happens here? Well, you jack it up, uh -huh. and you got the wheels set way in on the body. Okay. So they, they clear the fenders, it's not a problem at all. Really? So they kind of drop down. Right. They drop down and there's room between the fender and the drum. I'm assuming the there's a, a button on the inside. You pull that and the air comes through. Right. Okay, got right. it. And this also venting? or That's just all venting, yeah. Venting too. Okay. Right. They were known that air flight means the air... It's a, not an air conditioning, but the air flight says on the back of the car. Yeah. That's the ventilation system. They were proud of their ventilation system. Okay. They had really good ventilation on this car. While we have the front in the sun, let's open up the hood, shall we? Sure. We'll actually start in the front this time. It's like a big bathtub. It's like an upside down bathtub. And yeah. I hear you straining, so that's heavy. So I'll hold it up so we don't want to drop on you there. We'll get... yeah. <laughs> that's a good That wouldn't be idea. cool. Very cool. You can see your water, your inline six. We have exhaust on this side. Massive horn on this side. We'll have to blow that boat horn. And then there's, man, that looks pretty just industrial, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Just like yeah. one big yeah. block of engine. They were real simple back then. Very crude. You can see some writing there. Yeah, this is a flathead six cylinder engine. There's a date there, it looks mm -hmm. like. We want to get you that horn sound. That's <laughs> one big bugle. Nice. Wow, it looks really interesting. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. All right, I'll you want me to start it up for you? Yeah, please. Sure. Yeah. Just to show you the inside of the hood there, you've got these struts. Some more right in there. Pretty quiet. Not big 
exhaust pipes. Dennis, what's the uh, cubic inch? You know, that's a good question. Like well, 172 it's, or something? it's probably around there. Yeah, I, I really don't know. I mean, it's in a brochure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find you. it. We'll find it. Notice you've got the single exhaust. You've got a little reflector on it. One rev, Dennis. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna turn this one around. So we've turned it around. And Dennis, what was your comment you just said? What does it look like? A little motorboat. <laughs> a little motorboat. So you see Nash there and Air Flight, F L I, F L Y T E, right there. Show us how this opens. This is kind of neat. Yeah, this you can lock it, but it's unlocked. So you can lock. Okay, so this turns like this. A little propeller. A little propeller. And now we've got our trunk and treats. Look right. at the inside. They put some kind of yeah, coating there. Yeah, that's a factory coating. Right. Information about your 52 Nash. Notice I featured those. It has these window guards, the door top shades, and the golden air flight probably presented on its golden anniversary. So take a look at this brochure. And while I'm here too, I want to feature this. Look at this piece here that Dennis has, which is like a screen for your win windows. Amazing. Yeah, that's factory original NOS new old stock, that screen. See, those are bigger Nashes. And there's your designer. Pina Farina? Pina Farina was the one that designed the Wow, this car. the same guy who does the Ferraris. Yes. And there's the, the Nash well, look, Healy. the Ferrari type grill. Yeah. You know. Great trunk and treats on this one. Look at that wild. Look at this. Isn't that wild? We'll just all hang out in the car, kids. The doorman coming for your luggage. Open the door to the most beautiful room on the road. No need for a house here. We've got a Nash. That is great. So these seats fit, go all the way back? They lay down into a bed. On the on the bigger cars. On the bigger cars. But the seats in these cars lay back too. You can lay, you actually take a nap in this car. Wow. Going slow enough so you can enjoy it. There's another different design than you're going to see, see now, here. See now, this is a 52 brochure. This has got an overhead engine. The bigger cars have an over. Head valve engine. Oh yeah. See? Yeah, I did not. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out. Dual range hydromatic. The Statesman. The four door sedan. There we go. There, there you go. There's a, the Nash Rambler, but that's a convertible sedan. Notice how the windows are... Yeah, they have uh, roof rails, and the, the, the top runs up on those rails. And here's yours. No, that's actually a bigger Nash. Okay. They talked about the weather eye system. All right. Yeah, you're right. We'll get to mine. There you go. Here we go. And they made a station wagon. Also. Here's the country club. Relax, dear. Notice her seat is almost all the way back. There's the wagon with the wood grain. Let's see if you can open that page for just a second. Here's our specification. Which one's that, Lou? Is there a page right before it? Did I miss something? No. Yeah. I, oh no, you're that's right. That's a convertible. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. We're working together on this one. Yep. Easy to understand the difference. You just bring out your welding iron on your Nash and just, <laughs> <laughs> just get something done. Look at this. What, what is this? Their safety. The, the, about the, you know. like a demolition derby. Yeah. They're jumping buses for God's sakes. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, wow. That's a brochure. That was the Dukes of Hazard before the Dukes of yeah, Hazard. Yeah, that's where the Dukes of Hazard probably came. Yeah. Got it from, you know. 
you know, I used to have a 50 Nash, and uh, <laughs> I remember jumping a few buses back in the day. We should make a television show out of that. Isn't that a great brochure, though? It Look is a color. great brochure. Wow. That's perfect. And here's the newest hardtop convertible. Yeah, that's an individual ramper brochure. Wow. That's great. Yeah, 172 cubic inches, mm -hmm. it looks like. You kind of guessed it. Yep. Meet the Country Club. <laughs> Big smile out the yeah. back window. That's great. The Flying Scott Engine. As you can hear, put that there. Let me just show you the size of this trunk. I'm looking at everything over there for a moment. So you've got there. Look at the way they've put this Nash together. We got a little chrome there, but notice this actually holds the tire in place here. We hold the tire in place there, and that—that's your owner's manual. With some good trunk they and treats. They actually made three different printings. In 52 of that little Rambo Rose man. I got really? all three of them. Yeah. I won't go through all of it, but break-in period. Yeah, the operation of the car. Operation of the car. That's great. All right, we'll close this. Notice all the wiring. Look at your teeth. Look, look, look like that. Look at the, oh, yeah. the hinge and you got those gears. Gear mechanism. Yeah. That is great. All right, we'll close See, that. Look at it. Okay, show me. See? Oh yeah. The Maybe. gears coming together. I'm going to go into the interior, may I? Sure, go ahead. First thing I notice is this is actually, correct me if I'm wrong, that's a refrigerator handle in the day. Pretty much. Yeah, that that is actually it. Calvinator. Yeah. This opens to that position. Right. But take a look at the door. What's going on here? You have what they call is mohair. Actually, that's a broadcloth. Okay, broadcloth, yeah. and then you have these different patterns. I mean, there's several different patterns here. You have this pattern, this pattern, this pattern, this pattern. Let's show the overall. Now, the seat belts were put in by the owner. Okay. They didn't come from the factory. Here's that window guard. Mm -hmm. Let me just get inside here. Look at that. Is that great? Wipers. Wow. This is kind of interesting too. You push on this, and this pulls out like that. It's like a drawer. And Dennis, can we, we've got our. So, how do we turn this on so okay, we can turn, turn this key turn, to the right? Turn, turn the, the key to the right? Turn it to the right, and then. If you want to go up in the air, you can too. Luke. No, it's on. You hear blinking, see it? Look at this. Yeah, there you go, now you can that. see it. That's cool. Isn't that? <laughs> it's great. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Plus, Look, you had a blinker on the dash. It showed you when it was blinking on the dash, too. Look up at the dash. Should be. Isn't that? I hear it, but I don't see it. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. That's all right. Yeah. But you can definitely see there's a little light bulb yeah. in there. That is a great idea. High beams. I want to show people the roof line of this car. Sure. Look at that roof line. And the seats. The bench seat. Great stuff. Well, Dennis, I think it's time for us to take for a ride. Watch out. Let's, yeah, do, let's it. do it. So Dennis and I are driving in the Nash Rambler Country Club. Crip. Country Club. And uh, we can see the uh, flying maiden, I'll call it, right there. Sitting proud. As we drive. You drive, I ride <laughs> in this one. How's it feel driving in it? It just drives like a baby buggy. It's, 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 it's a really smooth running car. A baby buggy. <laughs> it's got that feel, you know what I mean? 
I don't but know. It rides. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. It drives like, like a baby, a baby buggy. buggy. It does though. It's it like does. springy. Yeah, it's very springy. It's got a little bounce to yeah. it. But it's very comfortable to drive. I mean, it's really an easy car to drive. Yeah. Three on the tree. I'll show yeah. how that works. This is first. Yep. There goes our clutch. Right. Put the clutch out. Let it happen, Cap. There we go. Show them how you. There we go. So that was an H pattern. Yep. One, two, three. Nice. There we go. There's our third. Sweet. When's the last time you drove this? Oh, I think this is the first time I've driven it. This, this is year? Been, it's been sitting up here. Well, it's been a couple of years. It's okay. been sitting in the garage because I got so many cars. Well, I can't I'm, drive them all. Well, I'm glad we got it out. Yeah, yeah this it is needs good. to be driven. Let me show people just the changing of the leaves here. This is a beautiful little strip we've got here. This is just tremendous. Yeah. Uh, it's, such, it's such a nice town. Yeah. Love Lake Geneva. We're up in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Man, this is nice. Look at the trees, that stretch right there. Driving in the Nash Rambler. That's good stuff. On Lakeshore Drive. Remember the song? <laughs> Down on Lakeshore Drive. This is where we're at. This is good stuff, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, we're going to cruise a little bit more. Dennis, always a treat. Thanks for being on My Car Story. You're welcome, Lou. It's good to be with you, buddy. Thank you.